Okay, what we have here today is the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. And uh, what I did was I flashed this with the custom ROM Victoria's, Victorious Fusion, I believe it is, uh, 1.8. Um, this has the MySense 3.1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to flash this and get the files and back up everything. And uh, show you how to flash to this ROM. Let me just uh, show you the ROM real quick. The unlock button. As you can see, that's the MySense 3.1. It's got the uh, weather animation um, as my live lock screen background. Um, this has been covered before, but um, this is what you do: you to unlock, you pull this ring up. That would unlock it. Um, if you want to set your own custom four buttons here, you can just slide these into it to open up, let's say, text messaging. Um, there you go, or um, you can do whatever else you have on the uh, lock screen. There's a few different other lock screens available. Uh, to get to that, you go to the settings over here. Um, you have Sense, which you can download a few of them. They're just uh, home screen setups that are custom done already you know, with different clocks and stuff like that. Um, I pick one of the last few here with the big clock. Um, but you can download more. You click get more down here. Um, then we have skins, which are like your themes. Um, you can also get more from the HTC um, store. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you can get you know your standard widgets and you can download extra. Um, there's only like four or five extra, nothing special. Uh, let's see. Over here is how you get to your menu. You can pick favorites, downloaded, or all of your apps. Um, this one comes preloaded with a few things like titanium backup. Um, the rest of the ones you see on here are ones I've downloaded, like special T-Mobile ones. Um, all right, I guess we'll get into how to how to flash this. What you're gonna have to do is go to the XDA developers website, and uh, you're gonna want to look for the Victorious Fusion 1.8. Um, I'll have a link in the download section so you can download that file um, to your memory card. Um, if you do it directly through your phone, it'll be easiest, but you're going to need a few files. First thing you're going to want to download is you want to go to the Android market and you're going to want to download Astro File Manager. Okay, so you're going to want to download Astro File Manager. Click on this top one here. The picture of a folder with an A. And then go ahead and install it. I already have it installed. Uh, when you're done, you're going to open that up. You're going to click up here on Home and then you're going to want to hit the menu button and then you're going to want to go to tools and what you're going to do is you're going to go to application manager slash backup it's going to load all the things you have on your phone into a list Okay, here's going to be all of the applications you currently have installed on your phone. Um, pretty big list for me. This includes all your T-Mobile applications, um, anything that you have uh, installed on your own. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back it up. So you're going to click up here where it says long click for more info. That's going to select all of these. And then what you're going to want to do is you're wanna going to click back up it's going to go through its whole process and it's going to back everything up um, later after you flash your ROM you're going to want to uh, restore all these files and it's real simple you're going to go and uh, download this first um, and you're going to open it back up like you just did this time we're going to click on back up to apps and then when we do that you're going to have a list of all the apps that are on your uh, SD card. 
after you pull up uh, your list, you're going to click up here again, long click, check apps to install. That's going to select all of your apps, and then you're going to click install. What it's going to do is it's going to go one by one, um, and then you're going to do like you do when you normally download. Uh, you can't see it on the camera, but what it normally says is install and cancel. So you're going to want to click install. It's going to install it for you. And then you're going to click done over here. Now you're going to have to do this for every application you have. Now will be the time where you choose whether or not you want to put certain apps on. So if you don't want to put certain apps on, make sure you do it now. Okay, the next step is going to be, uh, we're going to be using ROM Manager. Um, uh, if I forgot to mention it before, uh, your phone has to be rooted to do this. If your phone isn't rooted, or you don't know how to root your phone, I'm going to go over that uh, in another video. So just um, look for my recent videos and look how to root your MyTouch 4G uh, simplest way possible. Um, one of the ways you're going to do this is also with the Astro Backup, so you can make a backup of all your apps. So um, I included it in this video. Alright, so what you're going to do is, uh, if you rooted your phone, you should already have ROM Manager installed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up ROM Manager. Just click OK, just a disclaimer. Click OK again. Okay, now you're in the ROM Manager. Um, you should already be familiar with this. What we're going to do now is we're going to want to uh, do a backup of our current ROM. So, you're going to want to click here backup current ROM. Uh, you can leave it as the date or you can leave it as uh, stock um, if you rooted your phone and haven't flashed the ROM yet or you can rename it to whatever you want OEM whatever but right now it just has the date and it says OK um, you would click OK and it would go through the backup it would um, tell you it's gonna reboot go out into the recovery mode of the phone and do a full backup then when it's done um, you're gonna come back into your phone and you're gonna come back into ROM manager and uh, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna wanna install ROM from SD card and what you're gonna do is um, take the Victorious Fusion file that you're gonna download and you're gonna put it onto your phone on the SD card and the root folder which is the main folder I'll show you in a second and you're gonna click on Victorious Fusion from down here okay I'm doing this part on my computer what you're gonna do is you're gonna fo uh, follow the tiny URL that I'm gonna provide which is this one right here tinyurl.com forward slash 68bzpga that's going to bring you to this page and I was wrong it's Vitreous Fusion 1.1.8 Gingerbread Sense 3.0 3D um, just released last month um, you're going to scroll down you can go ahead and read this if you want to um, it tells you some things that don't work um, I'm pretty impressed almost everything works um, hardly any problems and me and a friend run this full time um, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to want to click on the first top one right here download ROM uh, 1.1.8 1 and uh, click on that download that to your computer and then after that you're going to want to hook it up to your SD card install it to your SD card um, which I've already done and you're going to put that in your root folder and from there you put the SD card back in your phone and go to the ROM manager okay we're back in ROM manager now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flash the Victorious Fusion um, onto our phone you're gonna click it um, you're gonna wanna click up uh, wipe data and catcher and um, you're not gonna do backup existing ROM because we already did it and you're going to leave the wipe the Delvic catcher. You're going to leave that. You're going to click OK. It's going to back you up into the uh, reboot.
remember my phone's already flashed uh, install from your SD card and it's gonna go through its process and this is gonna say a bunch of things it's gonna have stuff going across here and it's gonna install your image and when it's done it should look like this this will be what your phone looks like as long as you flashed it correctly now my phone is overclocked already so it might be a little bit faster than yours um, just look up overclocking using set CPU um, you can find videos on that for your my touch just wait for this to load yours is going to take a little bit longer since you uh, first flashed um, you're going to want to set up everything but what you're going to do is you're going to go into the Astro File Manager first and install from backup like I said before and uh, that's basically it this is uh, the Victorious Fusion 1.1.8 um, this is the HTC Sensation software ported over to the MyTouch 4G this seems to be the most popular um, ROM that everyone seems to be flashing uh, like I said I've done it to three phones so far and everybody loves it so uh, I guess rate this and tell me if you like it um, if you need to ask questions just go ahead and post my uh, YouTube is linked to my email so I get them right away and uh, try to help you out the best I can alright uh, this has been GSX Eclipse PSI and uh, if you like car videos, check out some of my car videos. If not, look forward to more of my uh, MyTouch modifying videos. See you later.